the Earl and Countess of Wessex visited Camille Henry Memorial School and Patricia D. James Secondary School at the end of their week-long tour arranged to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. During their visit, Sophie and Prince Edward watched performances and met staff and students from the local area. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, undertook a Caribbean tour in March and their visit was marred with controversy due to protests. Prince Edward and Sophie have faced similar issues after the royal family members faced anti-colonial protesters who demanded apologies and reparations for the UK's participation in the slave trade. While undertaking their royal tour, Guyana's president has called for a meaningful apology from the UK over its role in the transatlantic slave trade. Speaking to Sky News, Irfan Ali explained that a decision calling for reparations over one of the greatest atrocities in human history must be taken by all Caribbean nations. President Ali added that suffering was not only immense, it was generational. And a lot of wealth was derived from the suffering. Prince William addressed the issue during a visit to Jamaica where he expressed his profound sorrow over slavery. The Duke referred to slavery as an appalling atrocity, words used by Prince Charles in Barbados last year. However, William did not go as far as formally apologizing for the royal family's link to the slave trade. During the Wessex's week-long tour, the couple has also visited Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Prince Edward and Sophie initially received a warm welcome to St. Lucia upon their arrival on Tuesday, during a walkabout in the town of Soufriere. However, their visit was soon met by a group of around 10 protesters before a trip to a cocoa plantation. An unnamed demonstrator said, We want reparations now. The Queen of England needs to apologize for slavery. Others clutched banners reading repatriation with reparations and Queen say sorry. Despite this, Sophie and Edward were cheered as they left the area. On the final day of the tour, the royal couple made a stop off at Pigeon Island National Landmark, a 44-acre island reserve which is located off the northwest coast of St. Lucia near Gros Islet. The reserve is considered to be one of the most important monuments of St. Lucia's history. Their royal highnesses heard about how climate change is affecting the region and Sophie got involved by leaving a message on a biodiversity poster during the visit. A photograph shows she wrote, Love worms and save our insects. The Countess concluded their visit by planting a tree within the island's 44-acre island reserve. The royal couple also faced controversy earlier in their royal visit, when demonstrators with banners reading Reparation Now, Compensation Now, Down with Neocolonialism and Britain Your Debt is Outstanding greeted them upon their arrival at Government House in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda also asked the Wessexes to use their diplomatic influence to achieve reparatory justice, while pledging the nation's wish to become a republic. By the end of the Wessex's royal tour, Antigua and Barbuda as well as St. Kitts and Nevis, had declared their intention to distance themselves from the British monarchy. Jamaica and Belize expressed a similar interest when the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited back in March. The island nations appear.